I've been using 12th gen i5. Okay, for running system. Yeah, I mean, you can run our system down as low as an i5, yes. Um, is it ideal? Uh, no, I mean, you, you're like on the scenario, like an FOMC day, do you think you're going to be able to participate? If you're on an i5, you're probably not even going to be able to participate. Our system does a, I mean, it is a massive amount of calculations. Um, all the data that's flooding into your PC, if you're doing multiple instruments and you're going to try to keep multiple instruments times five, so let's say that you've got, I call it the four by five, okay? So if you got five time frames, which is what I, that's our general out of the box layout, you're going to have five charts, five time frames times four instruments, that's going to be 20 charts. Your little i5 is going to be smoked, <laughs> all right? Oh, you hadn't updated, no problem, Pablo, no worries. I have an i5 fortune getting wrecked with that. Yeah, so Ethero is, you know, he's telling you right there. But on a normal day, right, Ethero, have you been using our system for a while? Um, your i5, it's been keeping up, right? George said he's doing an i7 as long as he's only on two instruments, right? I mean, you're basically going to have to adjust if you're using our system and you've got, you know, a slower machine. Can you do it? Yes. Can you go down to one chart? Yeah, in fact, like you, if you get into our advanced training, you'll see... I've got some strategies where you can narrow this whole thing down to single chart, especially now that we've got Mac V Ultimate. You know, you can trade single chart, um, especially if you've got the Enigma. I mean, what, we just want to go like this? I mean, we could do this. I, I could take off Alpha Omega. Don't really have to have that. It's just nice to have. I could technically take off the double crosses here, but, and it's just purely Enigma if you want it. Um, yeah, we have the, you know, we got the, I got the Delta flagging down here too as well, but you can basically narrow down your space. I tend to tell people that you, you add on the algo matrix up here at the top left. If you don't know what that is, go, go type in YouTube and search for Vinny E mini algo matrix, the algo matrix indicator. You'll see that will go right up there. I actually created that originally for some doctors that had said, hey, Vinny, when I'm trading at the, in the operating rooms, or not in the operating rooms, but they leave the operating room, they go over to one of their side rooms and they've got their little tablets. And they were like, you know, can I trade from a tablet? I'm like, you know, originally it was, you know, not really, but I kept noodling on what they had said and asked. I'm like, well, how would I show them high time frames and all of that? So uh, I actually have it right here. You guys can see. Here is the algo matrix up here. So I know it's pretty small here because of 4K. Uh, 4K screen, right? So there's your algo matrix right there that tells you the highest time frames right now is on the green, right? So I want to wait until my layout here coincides, and you can basically read this um, on a single chart. You know, you basically learn that in training if you would like. Uh, you know, we use it in correlation and combination with everything else. I could take this off of here, technically speaking. Uh, but it's nice to have if you need to reference it. But there's there's a lot of ways to adjust and adapt our system to you know whatever situation you're in. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn.